nice, good, you know, run after the catch, and um, you know he finished the game off. Yeah, I mean, I really like the way we managed the entire game. I love the way we managed this game, and uh, it didn't go down for us today. Um, but you know, we gave ourselves an op. You know, we didn't get, you know, we didn't finish the game off defensively. And they're a tough guy. To, they're a tough group to finish it against defensively. But uh, we gave ourselves a chance. You know, there uh, at the end with Justin, and we just didn't quite get it done. And then when it went into overtime, you lose the coin toss, and we just weren't able to finish it out. And uh, credit to Kansas City. Uh, they did a really good job on those last couple drives. Just with, with Travis and Tyreek, both had, had big days. Mm-hmm. Just how much of that was the, the bodies you were down in the secondary, you know, losing Derwin there in the second half and, and just, you know, the, the depth that you had to put on the field. Well, I, you know, I have full respect for Patrick, you know, Travis and Tyreek. Um, so, you know, you're not going to beat that team if those three have performances like that. And uh, we were down a bunch of guys. There's, there's no doubt about that. But that's life in the NFL. And uh, we need to make sure that, uh, you know, next time that we have a good plan when that happens and, and that ultimately falls on me. And we just have to make sure that we execute and, and play the game on our terms at the end. And we can live with that. And I just think – I didn't think that we rushed and covered well at the end. I didn't think we were connected enough, you know, in the fourth quarter and in overtime. And, uh, and that's why we lost. Did Derwin, uh, did Derwin tweak his hamstring? Is that what he yeah, did? just – I mean, this guy gave it a go. I mean, he tried everything he could, but it just it was pulling on him, and uh, we just didn't want to do anything more to it. Uh, and he's a warrior and the ultimate competitor, and he gave it a go. He gave it a go, but um, it just it, it wasn't going to go down for him tonight. Yeah, I mean that's going to be the mindset no matter who we play. Uh, but you know, I felt really comfortable with all of those decisions, and uh, you know, the first one, it's a. You know, perfect pass, and, and you know, just you have this this really you know tragic thing happen. You know, on the way down, and uh, you know the one at the end of the half. I I, I love that, and and then you just you know, you know we just missed Jared on the stick. You know, and um, that's the way we're going to play around here. That's the way we're going to play, and um, you know when we have a quarterback like ours and we have an offense like ours, that's the way we're going to play because that's how you need to play against Kansas City for sure, um, and that's how uh, we're going to be come the team that we're ultimately capable of being is, is by playing that way. And, um, you know, uh, I'm really proud of our guys. I thought, like, we competed like champions today, um, and they made a couple more plays in the fourth quarter and in overtime than we did. But I felt like our guys laid it on the line tonight, and I'm very, very proud of them for that. Brendan, how frustrating was the uh, Joshua Kelly uh, fumble on third down? Very frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, we wanted to run the football in there. Felt like we had a really good design and, you know, just got to be careful when you go up and over, you know, and it's one thing to go up and over. And it's another thing to reach it when you go up and over. And it was third down, not fourth down. And so that's not what we coach around here. And so we're going to we need to learn from that and uh, make sure that that doesn't happen again. Fortunately for us, Chenna had an incredible play uh, on, you know, that very next series and, and got us the, the ball back in another op. Um, but, you know, we need to make sure that uh, we do a better job. I don't. I know that. I know that he's at the hospital, um, and you know that that that's where my thoughts are. That's where our thoughts are right now. Are with him, and uh, that that's one of those things that's the tough side of the game. And uh, he means so much to us, and he's having such an incredible season. And I'm hoping if DP can hear us, hear me, that um, we love him and and we're thinking about him, and that uh, I can't wait to see him soon. Was it tough to continue after that? I don't know how you would react. I mean, it's the tough side of pro sports. You know, and then anytime you see that live and you're close to it, um, it, it impacts you. But then at the same time, you know, we're trying to play for him the rest of the way. And that's what our guys did tonight. They laid it on the line and played a whale of a game for him. And so uh, I hope he's proud of that. And, um, you know, just praying for, for him right now. And, um, you know, we'll have more news for you as it, as it becomes available. What did you see out of Trevor Kitty tonight? I saw a guy, you know, really is coming into his own at the point of attack. You know, we ran the football tonight. That was a big part of our game plan. We felt like we could do it, um, and, and he's a big reason why. You've got to have tight ends at the point of attack. That's why we drafted him, and uh, he's got a pro body. Um, this guy is physical at the point of attack. He's got good feet. He's got a good head on his shoulders, and uh, he's really coming alive for us, and he was a real bright spot for us tonight. What was the key, what was the key in the running game? 
Corey and Matt on the inside sort of setting the tone, or did you see something else that sort of... I, I loved our design tonight. I thought, you know, Joe Frank, Sean Surrett, uh, Derek Foster, those guys, uh, just we had really good design tonight. I felt like we had a lot of balance in terms of zone scheme, gap scheme, uh, inside plays, outside plays, runs from the gun, quarterback under, and uh, we felt like that would be an advantage for us because we felt like they would play us some shell with... Uh, with their corner being out and, and, and Chris Jones not being there. Um, so, you know, just felt like that that would be something that, that we would be able to do to control the pace of the game. And uh, just really felt like that was a strength of ours today. And I thought all three of our backs ran at a high level today. How Some of the balance? drops, how, how, can you, how can you coach that or how can the players uh, get better at that during the season? Yeah, I mean, it's just us playing together. You know, it's just it's just us playing together, and there's no there's no there's no there's no answer that I can give you other than that. It's us just playing together because all those guys are quality players. It's not a lack of concentration, and it's definitely not a lack of talent. All right, and so um, it's one of those things that uh, I, I truly believe that that's where the storyline.